You're a professional advisor and accountant, so this works for your business, but it'll also work for your clients or customers business, it works for any business basically. So what we're doing here is we're showing some starting figures and then we're going to make some small improvements and I'll show you how to do that. And you'll be astonished at the extra profit and the extra business valuation that that produces. So our starting point is we've got 300,000 worth of sales. This is based on a real case, by the way. Uh, the gross margin is 70%. So the cost of sales is 90,000. I've rounded it a bit. Uh, the overheads are 50,000. So, and the owner takes out 70,000 in their own package. That would be a uh, salary pension bonus. So the profit per the accounts would be 160,000, but the true profit is 90,000 because the owners had 70,000 of that out for themselves. And there's various ways of doing that depending on your business structure, etc. Now, what I'm showing here is the effect of making a few small changes. So what if we put our prices up 10 percent, but then you'll say, well, you might lose some customers or clients. So let's assume and allow for the fact that we will lose some. So let's say we'll lose 5 percent of our customers or clients. I mean, it's very unlikely we'll lose 10 percent. So we allow for the fact we lose some clients or customers. And um, we've also got a customer or client attrition rate, which basically means that year on year, we tend to lose 20 percent of our customer base. So what if we could reduce that to 10%? And we could do that by having things like uh, customer reactivation offers. There's a way of doing that. Or just regular offers, regular communications, make, making more of an effort to keep more of our customers or clients. And if we focused on that, then we could cut that from 20% to 10%. We could also generate marketing efforts, maybe referrals, referral systems, et cetera, special offers to try and get more customers. So let's say we could get 10% more clients or customers as well. And let's say we could get them to buy from us more frequently by having regular offers, regular communications. So we get them to buy 10% more frequently. And we'll also get them to spend more each time. And the way we do that is we'll have cross sales, we'll have upsells, and we'll also have what are known as bundles or packages. So we could have a, like a gold, silver, bronze type of structure. It's called differential pricing. And the way that works is you'll have a lower price, you'll have a middle price, which is something like 65% of the difference between the lower and the upper, and then you'll have an upper price. And you could even like go for a really exclusive offer, which is even more valuable. But by doing that, we could get the average spend up by 10%. So what we've done is we've increased our prices on average by 10% by doing things like having cross-sells, upsells. We've lost some clients, but we've lost, say, 5% of them. But we've also cut our customer or client attrition rate from 20% to 10. We've attracted 10% more clients through um, referrals and targeted marketing. We've got people to buy from us more frequently by having regular offers. and We're getting them to spend more frequently as well. Uh, sorry, spend more when they do spend with us. So an extra 10% differential pricing, cross-sells, upsells, etc. The overall effect of that is that the profit per the accounts more than doubles from 160,000 to 361. Assuming we still take the same 70,000 out, but of course, you know, we could take out more now because we could afford to. But assuming we, sell, we take the same 70,000 out, the true profit goes from 90,000 to 291. It's more than treble. And the value of the business, now that will depend on how you work it out. Is it a value? Is it a multiple of turnover? Is it a multiple of profit? But just keeping it simple, if it was, say, a fourfold multiple of profit, then the value of your business would be four times the extra profit which would be 807,000 extra. And then don't forget also that this extra profit here, this 324%, that's not just for this year, that's for next year, the year after, the year after, the year after. And in actual fact, if we repeated this up exercise on a sort of um, continuous basis, then we can probably look at far greater figures than that. So you can see where the potential is in your business to make huge improvements by basically by taking time out to uh, focus on the business and to come up with the appropriate strategies to achieve these sort of small improvements. Um, and the thing is, they're exponential. Each, each separate improvement multiplies its way through. So um, there you are. That's how you can more, well, it would be quite simple adopting this approach to add 50% to the value of your business. I deliberately said 50% um, to keep it uh, conservative. But you can see that there's potential in most cases to do a lot more than that. Hope you found that interesting.
my website is bernardkeeby.com. If you want to comment or ask for further information or engage in conversation or even have a meeting, just let me know, uh, bernardkeeby.com, or reply on LinkedIn or Twitter or whatever. Okay, thanks very much for watching. Hope you found that interesting.